So there will be a lot of uh, bot traffic which will be coming to your website. So majorly if you are using WordPress kind of a platforms where it's more vulnerable. So let's look at how do we identify that unusual bot traffic and how do we exclude that uh, from the Google Analytics platform so that it doesn't count the data over there. Let's look at how do we identify this one in our uh, you know website and the Google Analytics platform and also using Search Console also. Okay, so let's um, you know go to Google Analytics. Okay. Sign into the Analytics platform. Yeah. So once you sign in, go to Reports and go to the Acquisition User Acquisition Data over here. Right. I am selecting the last ninety days data. I've been seeing a lot of unusual traffic on this site uh, from you know two three months. So let's look at the data over here. So if we look at the data over here, right? So the direct traffic has around fifteen thousand eight seventy, right? And you can see this is forming ninety five percent of the ninety five ninety seven percent of the traffic over here. But this is a newly created website which is not even six months old. But you know there is a lot of direct traffic which is a a red flag over here we can see if you look at these metrics over here these two this is clearly identified we are able to clearly identify that the average engagement time for an active user is just zero which clearly indicates no person is coming to the site and opening it so that the time is not being calculated over here it's not being reported which shows this is a bot traffic and if you see sessions per active user this is just less than 0 0.01 seconds which is completely off. This is something, uh, a metric, uh, you know, we need to uh, track to identify the bot traffic. If you look at other platforms uh, like organic search or organic social, organic or uh, referral, right? So from these channels, if you see, you can see the one minute is the average engagement. There's two seconds over here, there's one minute, 32 seconds. And right? if you look at engaged sessions per second, 0 0.89, 0 0.5 over here. If you look at the event count also, there's a lot of unusual event counts which are happening over here. 49,364, which is an unusual one. And next thing, this is a clear indication uh, of you know bot traffic. And next, if you go to traffic acquisition report, you will see similar kind of a pattern over here. Right. So you see the direct channel, which is giving you 15,963 sessions. Right. But if you look at engaged sessions, right. So engaged sessions is just 66. So there is little bit a genuine traffic from the direct channel, but most of them is your bot traffic over here. If you look at other channels, organic 324, 237 is the engaged sessions. So what does engaged session says? Number of sessions that last longer than 10 seconds or had a key event or had two or more screen or page views, right? They consider it as engaged sessions, right? So none of them are above 10 seconds, which is a clear indication. If you look at the engagement rate as well, right? So this is how people engage onto your page. The engagement is just 0 0.41. This is because there's a genuine people who are coming in using the direct platform. That is the data for, for, for the rest of the bot traffic. You see there's nothing. The, the engagement is not that good. If you look at the engagement rate for other channels, it is 50%, 50% and 73%, right? So you should have something similar over here. Right, you should have something similar above 40, at least 40, you should have somewhere near there to this matrix. That is where you identify that, okay, this is not a bot traffic, but here this is unusual data. And same with the average engagement time per session. There is zero seconds. This is the same uh, you know, red flag which we talked about. Right? So all events, the same thing you can see here. These are all the unusual uh, you know, data points which you can look at. Uh, when looking at the you know bot traffic and when you look at the search console right so overall if you see there are 16,265 sessions which are happening and you have around uh, 15,000 people which are coming to your website or around 16,000 people who are coming to your website uh, right but if you look at your google search console it should nearly match with the clicks which are coming onto your website if we go to the google search console and look at last 90 days report it do not match with the data over here, right? This is a clear indication. If I look at last three months data, there are only 170 clicks. So usually if you consider 80% of clicks, uh, you know, coming to your website and analytics is recording it, then you should see 
somewhere around uh, you know 140 to 50 uh, traffic coming to your website through your organic search but where is this direct coming from right so this is there's no there's no data which is supporting from here to here right? which is something wrong so these are the metrics you need to see whenever you are identifying you know trying to find if there is a bot traffic or unusual traffic or so if you see here the graph over here within the last 90 days you can see daily wise right direct traffic you can see there's a lot of direct traffic and at this point of time what i have done is i have this website is run on wordpress so i have installed some plugins where they can block the traffic bot traffic let me show you the plugin which i am using to block the traffic this is the plugin which i am using ban hammer right if i go to the settings Right? It can monitor traffic and ban unwanted visitors, which is the people, uh, in the, bo the bots which are trying to uh, you know, create unnecessary traffic into the site. Right? So you can see here, it will ignore the logged users, it will ignore the admin and login page. Right? So these are, you know, this is a plugin which is you know, blocking the bot traffic. Apart from that, you also have Sukuri software. Sukuri is a security plugin which I am also using. Right? You can see the security it will also block any spam or bot which are trying to access to the website over here so by this way you can using this kind of plugin you can block the unnecessary traffic or irrelevant traffic bot traffic which is coming to your uh, website right uh, after that you can see there is a huge drop over here right after that i am able to see uh, some more direct traffic which is coming here i think i need to uh, make changes to the settings of the plugins which can further harden the uh, bot traffic okay? that is uh, one thing you can do to block the traffic over here which is using plugins for the wordpress platforms uh, or using sukuri software or any other uh, bot blocking software which are available on the internet right so this is one thing and the next thing is if i look at the data some of the data points right so most of this data which is coming uh, to analytics is from the Chinese language. So if I look here, active users by language, you can see the majority, whatever the direct traffic is coming from is the Chinese language. So you, so most of the times you should see, uh, you know, this kind of uh, traffic which is coming from Chinese, Japanese, or, you know, uh, you know, th these kind of uh, languages which, which you keep getting the bot traffic from. So this is a clear one more indication over here. So for this, what you have to do is you have to block, uh, you know, traffic from from these language uh, people. So for that, what you can do is to exclude the traffic, the Chinese traffic which is coming, uh, by going to the admin section. Right. Once you go to the admin section, go to data collection and modification, and next data filters. You can see here I've created a Chinese traffic data filter over here. What you have to do is create filter and click on internal filter give a name i have given chinese traffic right and this you keep it as exclude and this parameter over here value parameter value which is internal here remove this and add the same name which you are able to see in the reports which is uh, chinese and filter state is testing active and inactive right so first thing what you have to do is you have to test initially for some days and see if that is uh, the data is getting um, you know excluded or not and then make it active you know if you think that the chinese data is being excluded right so right now i've created a testing phase and once it i am able to see that the chinese data is being excluded so definitely this will be made into an active state so i won't be able to see any data in my analytics uh, which is coming from the bots which will be excluded from the bots so that is how you exclude identify and exclude the bot traffic thank you if you like this video Please subscribe to our channel for more content like this.